Hello and welcome back to my channel. Now this week's video has come from a request, uh, several requests actually, but the main person who requested it and really wanted me to do it was this lovely lady who's called Helen, who's one of my good friends. She is my aunt as well and I love her to bits. But she wanted a part two of the taste test. So I've gone out and I've bought a load of stuff to try. And no, it's not all alcohol this time. It's really sunny. Just realised, sorry. So, this week's video is part two of the taste test. But, hope you're all well and had a lovely week. Because I sure well did. So, getting a little bit sidetracked, but if anyone knows me, I've always, always, always wanted a bonsai tree. I don't know why, but I've always really wanted a bonsai tree. So, I got myself a bonsai tree. My little zen garden is coming together. Also this week, I kind of said it before that I would really love animals and I was gonna get some animals. So I've started off already and I've got, for now, before I get the rest of them, some fish. This is my first time, is my hoosive. I have so many fish in there. I've got two of those clown loaches. I've got four of the zebrafish, two of the sucking loaches, I got neon tetras, I got about 20 fucking bazillion guppies and they keep having babies, let's see if we can spot any babies, there's one, but there's even smaller babies than that, can you see one there, can you see it, over here, can you see it, been having babies they have, Loads of babies. Oh, look, there's one by the plant. And I've got a clownfish. Uh, not a clownfish, a catfish. Oh, there's more babies coming to say hello. There's the tiger baths in there. Um, um, I don't know where it is, but I've got a catfish. It's like a barb tooth catfish. It's probably hiding in one of these things. Oh, uh, where is it? I don't know. Maybe if he comes out to play later, I shall get a shot of him. Yes, sorry, got sidetracked. Back to the video, excuse me, such a tramp. Back to this week's video, it's taste test part two. I go out and buy and then I try so you don't have to. So, let's start with ones I've had to try before the video, because there's no way they're all coffee, these three. There's no way I was going to down three hot drinks of coffee on video. So, a mix of this morning and last night, I tried each and every one of these coffees. And I'm going to review them now. So the first one is, these are all beanies flavoured coffee, um, instant coffee powder. Uh, you can get it from Aldi, Sainsbury's, Marks and Spencer's, and they ver uh, vary in price depending where you get them. But they do all sorts of flavours that are amazing. Um, so this one is Cinder Toffee. This one I thought was going to be really, really sweet, and it's even got a strong smell of toffee. Oh, it is amazing. Um, but I thought it would be really, really sweet, and it's not. So, even if you've got a sweet tooth, you can have it. If you haven't, you can also try it. It's really nice. It's not too sugary. And I love it. It's just two calories per cup as well. Two calories. You cannot complain. The next one, also two calories per cup. Get it into your Cynthia. This one is um, amaretto, amaretto flavoured coffee. And it smells um, just like a bottle of Disserano. 
and again this taste it leaves quite a nice aftertaste um, after you've got around the initial shock of the first like, little swig because you're like oh okay after the first initial swig it is beautiful oh love it I think it's my new favourite one and the third and final one also two calories per cup just be drinking coffee for the rest of your life is a Jaffa cake flavoured coffee now I do like sweet things but this was very very sweet so it's one to watch Jaffa cake instant coffee and it smelled just it smells like um I'm trying to think of what it's called. Terry's chocolate orange. It just smells like that. But yeah, it's very sickly. I wouldn't have a big cup of it because I went for a big sports direct cup. You don't want that, do you? Yeah. But as maybe a small mug might be better, but it is quite sweet. After the three coffees, the next three items is out to my American friends as it's nearly 4th of July and we don't really celebrate it over here I thought I'd do some taste test for us now I know in America some of these are quite popular so the first one I've heard a hell of a lot about and I've scoured the shops um, and at the moment you can find them in most shops actually but this is American style grape soda American style grape soda just in time for the 4th of July so I've poured myself a wee cup of it just to try it because again I've never ever tried it um, carbonated grape flavoured soft drink with sweeteners car Grape juice from concentrate, black carrot, and grape juice. Once open, please refrigerate and consume in three days. I've got three days to drink it. Let's hope that is nice. No added sugar, artificial colorings, or flavorings. Lovely, ching ching. Oh, that, that is quite nice. I'm trying to think what it reminds me of. It reminds me of something. Everyone's going to be like, yeah, grapes. But it is quite nice. It's quite refreshing as well. Um... It's suitable for vegetarians as well. So, I bet it would taste nice with some vodka. I might try it with some vodka later. But yeah, I'll give it a good 6 out of 10. It is a bit sour, but a good 6 out of 10. Grape soda, thumbs up. So the next one on my American list is another drink, they're all drinks, but another drink and the amount of times I've heard on videos, TikTok, everything that American people are going nuts for this stuff. Um, my dad, even though he's not American, he's Irish, he loves the stuff, absolutely loves it. He was with me today when we went shopping and he got himself a bottle of this, so I thought sod it let's do it as well so it's an american style for the July, root beer because everyone loves root beer apparently and i've just been living under a rock so ching ching oh oh I don't know what it actually 
taste like? I've never tasted something like this. Mmm. Again, it's suitable for vegetarians. Storing cool, dry place, and then once opened, refrigerate and consume within three days. I don't know what you would mix it with. If anyone's got any suggestions, because I'm new to root beer. It tastes nice though, don't get me wrong, I love it actually. But I've never tasted something like it. Um, yeah, what would you mix it with, alcohol wise? I'd love to know. Maybe a whiskey or a spice rum or something. But it's quite nice. Okay, the third and final American drink. Now this one, I've not tried this particular brand, but I've tried this drink before and I absolutely love it. I mix everything with it. Ice cream, I mix vodka with it. I mix, oh, literally everything with it. And it's cream soda. American style cream soda. Oh my God. I love making ice cream floats out of this. Love mixing it with vodka. This bottle will definitely be gone by tonight. Even though I'm hanging, I'm just going to top up. And then just worry about it at work tomorrow. <laughs> Do you hear me? So, let's try this one. Oh, it just smells like cream soda. Well, because it is. Duh! Oh, but... Oh, it's so nice. Oh, let's try it. Oh, now that, all of these by the way were from Aldi, but other shops are doing American things from the 4th of July, and I think they were all one pound out of Aldi, one British sterling pound. But that was banging. That bottle's definitely gone by tonight. I'll tell you that. That was a 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10. That was sex on legs. Right. Final two items. I know I really shouldn't have. But the final two items is... Wine! My favourite. Right, they're both... Uh, three Meals, the brand is Three Meals, they're a wine brand, and these are the Reserve. So I've got the Reserve White and the Reserve Rosé. So, the Reserve White says it is fruity and zesty, enjoyed on its own or with a, ra a wide range of meals. This white has notes of gooseberries, melon, and a apple? Apple! <laughs> on the palate. It is best served chilled and is restrained is a restrained fruity drink. Ideal as an what? Or accompanying fish, chicken, cheese or desserts. I just drink it things. And then the reserve rose says it's smooth and fruity. Uh, this rosé has overtones of raspberry and cherry with a long, lingering palette. It is best served chilled either as a drink by itself or accompanying any food. Oh! Again, I'll just drink it. So, obviously, I've tried many, many rosés. I've tried many, many white wines. And I have tried wines from Free Meals before. Uh, they're in Asda, they're in Tesco, they're in Sainsbury's, all local supermarkets, and they range from about £3 all the way up to £5, depending what brand you get in, and not brand, what type you get in, so Chardonnay, Pinot, that sort of thing. So, it's 10.5% volume, this rosé. So, oh, and it's made in the UK. If that sells you, it's made in the UK. Just two shots. Two shots. Right, so three mils, reserve rosé. Let's give it a bang. Smooth. 
yeah, it is quite smooth. Fruity. Not really tasting the fruits, to be honest with you, babe. Raspberry and cherry. Definitely cherry. The cherry's quite strong, but the raspberry... I think between the cherry and the alcohol, the raspberry's been shoved aside, mate. Cherry stolen the show off him. That's... But it goes down well. It's not like sour and you're going to go... <coughs> it's quite good. I'd say a 6 out of 10 for this. Now, for the reserve white. This is fruity and zesty. Let's see how fruity and zesty it is. Just two shots of this. Oh. Oh, that is a strong melon smell. You can smell the melon. See, gooseberries, I don't like the taste of. So I've got a feeling I'm not going to like this wine. Which is a shame because I like wine. This one is also 10.5 volume. Typical values energy. Oh, I don't want to look at that. But yeah, gooseberry, melon and apple. Let's have a bang of this, eh? I can taste the apple. Oh, yeah, definitely taste the apple. Don't like it. See, apple makes me sick. So, maybe this wasn't a good idea. But... It's definitely fruity. Zesty, I wouldn't say it's zesty. But then I describe something as zesty as like lemony or limey. But it don't have lemon or lime in it. It has melon and gooseberry. Are they zesty sort of fruits? Because I always thought when you're zesting something, you're taking a bit of the peel off. So you can zest an orange, you can zest a lemon, a lime. But gooseberry is like a grape. You can't zest that. Melon. You don't even eat the skin. Like, look at what I'm allowed. You just munch on it. And what was the last one? Apple. Again, you don't zest it. You just... So, I don't get where they got the zesty from. Okay, Mr. Free Meals. Zesty, no. Yeah, I don't like it. About four out of ten. Not the best. But yes, these coffees, you got the cinder toffee, you have the amaretto, and you have the Jaffa cake. They're all beanies, yeah, beanies flavoured coffee, instant, and you can get them in a load of different shops, and depending where you shop, depends how much they are. Aldi, if you're bargain hunting, Aldi, $1.99. Can't complain for one ninety nine. Cannot complain. Again, with your American um, beverages, you got your grape soda, you got your root beer, and you got your cream soda. Again, I got all of these from Aldi, and they were one pound, I think, or one ninety nine. Again, all the shops are doing it at the moment for 4th of July, bringing a little bit of American style to the British. So, again, I'd rate all of these a fantastic investment. I just want suggestions on what I can have with the root beer, because I can make cocktails out of these guys. And this one, I could just guzzle by itself. I love cream soda. But yes, solid eight to 10 out of 10 on all of these. And then finally, our three meal wines. Made in the UK is probably why. But the rosé was definitely better out of the two. Uh, it was more smooth and went down better than the white wine. It was quite meh. Um, yeah, that's all I can describe it as is meh. 
but yeah, this one definitely a good 6 out of 10. I'd say about 3 for that, sorry. But yeah, Asda, Tesco, Sainsbury's, they all do it and it, they range from 3 to £5. Pounds. So, there you have it. I try and buy so you don't have to. Thank you once again for tuning into my channel. Hope you liked it. I think I'm going to have a lot more unboxing and trying before you buy in videos because I'm really enjoying this. So if you've got any suggestions on what you want me to try, I'm literally an open book. I will try anything. So if it's food, drink, makeup products, any sort of product at all that I can order, I'll order them, give them a try and give you an honest review. Uh, I'm not sponsored by any of these guys at all. It is literally just an honest review. It's my opinion. You may be different. You may like the wine. You may not. Hey ho. Just giving you an honest opinion about these products. Take care of yourselves. Stay safe. Stay sane. And treat each other nicely. And I shall see you next Sunday. Love you. Peace out.